Hey everybody, Dave here from Trust Studios and today I want to talk to you about grow pipes. Uh, this is the grow pipe that I make right here but I want to talk to you guys about why I love grow pipes and if you want to make your own grow pipe some of the things you should think about. Um, this grow pipe is only 30 inches long. It's great for inside, it's great for on a, on a, a deck. You can fasten right to the patio rails, to the deck rails. Um, but many of you may want a much longer grow pipe and you may want different spacing than this. This is great for inside and this is great for, for small grows. It has eight plant sites in it. But we're going to take a look at this one and we'll take a look at uh, one of my other bigger ones and we're going to talk about stuff like um, hole size, hole spacing, um, what what is good in a grow pipe, what grows well in a grow pipe, and um, and stuff like that. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have a grow pipe that's about six feet long, and I'm just letting that kale go to seed. But the spacing on this um, this grow pipe is about six inches apart, but they're staggered, so they're about an inch. In, I think they're about an inch and a half off of the center line, one to each side. See if we can go take a better look. Okay, so I only put in half inch holes and you can see that, well, let's see this, this one, you can see that some of these, these stems are quite large um, and the plant still did very well. You can see that one there. So this, the stalks are well over an inch, inch and a quarter. One down here is about three inches. Um, so you really don't need a big hole. You can put uh, three inch holes in there in a net cup, but you're gonna really reduce your amount of uh, grow space. And you're gonna, um, yeah, you're gonna reduce your amount of grow space and you're gonna, because the pipe is round and the net cup is not, you're going to have a lot of light leaks around the cup. So that's why I opt for the smaller holes. In the beginning, the plants may be a little bit floppy. Uh, but as you can see, um, as they grow older, they lock right into the pipe. I could pick this pipe up right now just by grabbing, just by grabbing the plants, the plant stems. So you can see this, this kale has lived in this pipe for about a year and uh, I kind of kept it from blooming and then I just let it go this, this spring. But we're going to have some nice, uh, we're going to have a lot of seeds here from this one that I'll use for microgreens and more plants. But anyway, let's go in and uh, let's, let's plant up one of these smaller pipes with some pak choy. So I've got my grow pipe here all set up. This was an early prototype, so if you buy a grow pipe, it won't have any of the markings and everything will be much nicer than this one. But that said, I, uh, I filled the pipe up. There's a fill hole under this sliding, sliding collar. So it's a nice big one inch hole. So I've dropped one baby in there. Let me get my little babies. The, the babies, I just grow these on the clay pebbles. So I just put a little, you know, fill this little container with clay pebbles. And then I give it a little weak nutrient solution. I use Maxi Grow one teaspoon per gallon. And then these babies are ready. So you just pull them out. And uh, they might have a clay pebble or something attached, but that's okay. You can be a little, you don't have to be too careful with them. And just pull them apart. And all you got to do is drop them in the holes. It's like a bug on there. Anyway, it's so bright out here, I can't see if I'm uh, showing you guys good. Here we go. So just drop them in. 
you know, if it's very windy, you have to be careful. You might want to keep them inside because the wind can dislodge them out of here. But uh, other than that, they should be fine. They do kind of right themselves and get going, as you can see. Uh, right here, and this uh, this thing just planted in a soap bottle, and it only has quarter-inch holes. And, uh, you know, as you can see here, they, they lock themselves into the pipe as they get going. But anyway, so let's get um, get finished here with this. So we'll just pull these. Uh, and if they get tangled up like that, it's no big deal. You can pull them apart. Now I've noticed now that I'm just seeing those, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's some little insects right there I'm going to get rid of. Just rub them off, spray them off. I had some kind of scale on something. Those are just the seed shells on this. So those are okay. But if you notice a little insect or something, uh, like I'm going to try to get in on this one. See those three little dots right there? Those are a scale insect and they need to come off. So you can just rub them off with your finger and keep an eye. Make sure if they're coming back that you spray them off with some water soapy water or just brush them off with your finger. The scale insects, uh, they live their whole life. They don't move around so if you can you know just wipe them off they'll be gone. And so there's a little bit of algae on the uh, roots of these plants from growing in this kind of uh, open container with the clay pebbles but it works well and the algae really is not a problem in these grow pipes the grow pipe is uh, black inside and white outside so no light gets in there other than what gets in through the holes and the plants cover that up pretty quickly so that's it on this grow pipe we have eight plant sites and the holes are, I think, about three and a half inches apart. But they're staggered one inch from center. One inch from center, three inches apart. Three and a half inches apart. And so on my bigger kale pipe that I showed you guys, we were six inches apart and we were one inch off center, one inch off center. And that will allow you the maximum amount of, of uh, plants in your, in your pipe. So in, in summary, the reason why I love the grow pipes is because it's very simple and easy to grow any kinds of greens or herbs in these grow pipes. And um, yeah, that's why I love them. But uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about in summary? Well, the, uh, the kind of pipe that you want to use is the 4-inch HDPE pipe. Um, it's cheaper and safer than the PVC pipe. In my opinion, it's safer, but it's definitely cheaper. Um, the other thing, um, oh, the hole spacing. As far as the hole spacing, the three and a half inches apart is better, like on this smaller pipe, and where you're going to plant like lettuce and Swiss chard and things that are smaller, spinach, um, basil, but larger things like uh, kale and kohlrabi. I would put the uh, hole six inches apart, staggered one inch from center. And um, one more thing, uh, nutrients. So I usually start my grow pipe when the plants are very small. I start them with one teaspoon maxi grow per gallon of water. And then the next time I have to fill up the, the tube or partially fill it up, from then on I use two teaspoons of maxi grow. So by that point, the you know the plants will have started to get bigger, and you can um, give them the stronger maxi grow. And I think that's it. So um, if if any of you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll I'll answer them. And uh, thank you all for watching, and happy growing. Take care, everybody.